Welcome to Upside Down, the place for 3D artists. If you're new to this channel, I'm making tutorials about 3D art and as well giving updates on news around game development and new features that are coming to the softwares that I'm mostly using in my work. In today's video, I will show you how to do a looping animation for a flag inside 3ds Max by using bones and as well I'll use one script which I'm using for quite some time already and I'll put the link down below so if you like it you can download it yourself and support our fellow creator. Let's start with the video. I already opened the scene and created a flag that I'm gonna be animating and here on the site I have already loaded the script. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll create a few bones so I'll just go into create then systems and then bones and I will create a couple of bones starting from the very top When we want to finish creating the bones, we just need to right click and it will create one small bone for the very end. Now that we have everything, of course, you can make this more detailed, but I think that something like that is okay for our purposes. I will first assign our bones to the flag. So I'll select the flag. I'll go to edit and here we are going to put skin. Now that we have the modifier, we are going to add the bones. So we just go down here, add and we expand and select all the bones select we will see everything in the list and the way that you can test if everything is fine i can select one of the bones and just rotate it to see that we have everything running okay great now it's time to at our wind. So I'll use a few of the settings that we have in the script. If you are not sure how to open max scripts, you can just drag and drop them. First, we're gonna create a wind force. You can see that the script automatically created this cone and the top of the cone is actually the direction that the wind is blowing. So I'll just rotate it like this into a random direction. Here we have our parameters for the forces. I'll move it on the side like this. Now I'll select all the bones and what we are going to do, I will click apply. So you can see that the script will create all these keyframes here on the bottom that it animated our bones and what they are doing. So now if I click play and of course at the moment it's not looping, but we are going to fix this. But first let's fix a little bit the effect of the bones on our flag so that we don't have such hard edges, but instead it runs more smooth. So I'll go on the very first frame when we have our flag selected, we are going in skin, in envelopes, and now you can select each of the bones and see the effect that it has on our geometry. So what we're gonna do, you can see that at the moment it's, I'll actually apply just a gray material like this so you can see it better so at the moment you can see that uh, it's completely red and it doesn't have any blending so what we need to do is actually we need to blend a little bit so that it gets smoother and the effect is not as hard we just go down here and say paint weight click on this and you are going to see this brush which we can after that like this paint a little bit of weight like that so this bone now affects a little bit downwards as well I will select the next one and we're gonna do the same I'm gonna paint a little bit to the top and as well a little bit to the bottom like this if it's red it means that it has very strong effect if it goes to blue it means that it's losing its effect so it has very little And this time if I click play, you can see that now it's a lot smoother and we don't have this strong deformation of our geometry. Of course, if we want, we can edit the direction of the wind and the way to do it is we can just select our modifier, grab it and move it to the place that we want it to be and point it out. And after that, select all the bones and click apply and it will recalculate and replace all the animations that we had before. So now if I click play, you can see that already our animation is updated. Now that we have 
everything done, we need to fix the looping so that we make it that it loops all the time. So the way to do it is the following. We have our last frame here and then we have our first frame which is this one. We don't need that many of those frames so we can clean it a little bit. I'll say we can do like this here at the very end, the last 20, yeah, let's say the last 20 -ish frames, I'm going to delete them and I'm going to select the very first frame, hold shift and drag it all the way so that it goes to 100 and now it will go down. So now if I click play, you can see that it will go, it will be blowing a little bit and then it will go back. And of course, to make it look more realistic, this is something that you can play more with the settings of the plugin or you can afterwards play a little bit more with the keyframes and make it a little bit more randomized. So this way, after that, it looks more realistic. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that this tutorial was useful. Leave a like and a comment down below and see you next time.